SN. Translated by Bhikkhu Sujito. Sutta Central.net. Link Discourses 46. Four Hindrances 098, SN.46.31, SN.46.50, SN.46.31. Skillful, first, mendicants, whatever qualities are skillful. Part of the skillful, on the side of the skillful, all of them are rooted in diligence and meet at diligence. And diligence is said to be the best of them. A mendicant who is diligent can expect to develop and cultivate the seven awakening factors. And how does a diligent mendicant develop and cultivate the seven awakening factors? It's when a mendicant develops the awakening factors of mindfulness, investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity, which rely on seclusion, fading away, and cessation, and ripen as letting go. That's how a diligent mendicant develops and cultivates the seven awakening factors. SN.46.32 Skillful, Second Mendicants, whatever qualities are skillful, part of the skillful, on the side of the skillful, all of them are rooted in proper attention and meet at proper attention, and proper attention is said to be the best of them. A mendicant accomplished in proper attention can expect to develop and cultivate the seven awakening factors. And how does a mendicant with proper attention develop and cultivate the seven awakening factors? It's when a mendicant develops the awakening factors of mindfulness, investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity, which rely on seclusion, fading away, and cessation, and ripen as letting go. That's how a mendicant with proper attention develops and cultivates the seven awakening factors. SN.46.33 Corruptions Mendicants, there are these five corruptions of gold. When gold is corrupted by these it's not pliable, workable, or radiant, but is brittle and not completely ready for working. What five? Iron, copper, tin, lead, and silver. When gold is corrupted by these five corruptions it's not pliable, workable, or radiant, but is brittle and not completely ready for working. In the same way, there are these five corruptions of the mind. When the mind is corrupted by these it's not pliable, workable, or radiant. It's brittle, and not completely immersed in samadhi for the ending of defilements. What five? Sensual desire, ill will, dullness and drowsiness, restlessness and remorse, and doubt. These are the five corruptions of the mind. When the mind is corrupted by these it's not pliable, workable, or radiant. It's brittle, and not completely immersed in samadhi for the ending of defilements. SN.46.34 Not Corruptions Mendicants, these seven awakening factors are not obstacles, hindrances, or corruptions of the mind. When developed and cultivated they lead to the realization of the fruit of knowledge and freedom. What seven? The awakening factors of mindfulness, investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity. These seven awakening factors are not obstacles, hindrances, or corruptions of the mind. When developed and cultivated they lead to the realization of the fruit of knowledge and freedom. SN.46.35 Improper Attention Mendicants, when you attend improperly. Sensual desire ill will, dullness and drowsiness, restlessness and remorse, and doubt arise, and once arisen they increase and grow. SN.46.36 Proper Attention Mendicants, when you attend properly, the awakening factors of mindfulness, investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity arise, and once they've arisen, they're fully developed. SN.46.37 Growth Mendicants, when the seven awakening factors are developed and cultivated they lead to growth and progress. What seven? The awakening factors of mindfulness, investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity. When these seven awakening factors are developed and cultivated they lead to growth and progress. SN.46.38 Obstacles Mendicants, 
there are these five obstacles and hindrances, corruptions of the heart that weaken wisdom. What five? Sensual desire, ill will, dullness and drowsiness, restlessness and remorse, and doubt. These are the five obstacles and hindrances, corruptions of the heart that weaken wisdom. There are these seven awakening factors that are not obstacles, hindrances, or corruptions of the mind. When developed and cultivated they lead to the realization of the fruit of knowledge and freedom. What seven? The awakening factors of mindfulness, investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity. These seven awakening factors are not obstacles, hindrances, or corruptions of the mind. When developed and cultivated they lead to the realization of the fruit of knowledge and freedom. Mendicants, sometimes a mendicant pays heed, pays attention, engages wholeheartedly, and lends an ear to the teaching. At such a time the five hindrances are absent, and the seven awakening factors are fully developed. What are the five hindrances that are absent? Sensual desire, ill will, dullness and drowsiness, restlessness and remorse, and doubt. These are the five hindrances that are absent. And what are the seven awakening factors that are fully developed? The awakening factors of Mindfulness, investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity. These are the seven awakening factors that are fully developed. Sometimes a mendicant pays heed, pays attention, engages wholeheartedly, and lends an ear to the teaching. At such a time the five hindrances are absent, and the seven awakening factors are fully developed. SN.46.39 Trees Mendicants, there are large trees with tiny seeds and big trunks, which grow up and around other trees as parasites. The trees they engulf break apart, collapse, and fall. And what are those large trees with tiny seeds and big trunks? The Bodhi banyan, wavy leaf fig, cluster fig, moriton bay fig, and wood apple. These are the large trees with tiny seeds and big trunks, which grow up and around other trees as parasites. The trees they engulf break apart, collapse, and fall. In the same way, take some gentlemen who have gone forth from the lay life to homelessness, abandoning sensual pleasures. But beset by sensual pleasures that are similar, or even worse, they break apart, collapse, and fall. There are these five obstacles and hindrances, parasites of the mind that weaken wisdom. What five? Sensual desire, ill will, dullness and drowsiness, restlessness and remorse, and doubt. These are the five obstacles and hindrances, parasites of the mind that weaken wisdom. These seven awakening factors are not obstacles, hindrances, or parasites of the mind. When developed and cultivated they lead to the realization of the fruit of knowledge and freedom. What seven? The awakening factors of mindfulness, investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity. These seven awakening factors are not obstacles, hindrances, or parasites of the mind. When developed and cultivated they lead to the realization of the fruit of knowledge and freedom. SN.46.40 Hindrances Mendicants, these five hindrances are destroyers of sight, vision, and knowledge. They block wisdom, they're on the side of anguish, and they don't lead to extinguishment. What five? Sensual desire, ill will, dullness and drowsiness, restlessness and remorse, and doubt. These five hindrances are destroyers of sight, vision, and knowledge. They block wisdom, they're on the side of anguish, and they don't lead to extinguishment. These seven awakening factors are creators of sight, vision, and knowledge. They grow wisdom, they're on the side of solace, and they lead to extinguishment. What seven? The awakening. Factors of mindfulness investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity. These seven awakening factors are creators of sight, vision, and knowledge. They grow wisdom, they're on the side of solace, and they lead to extinguishment. SN.46.41 Discriminations At Savathi Mendicants, 
All the ascetics and Brahmins in the past who have given up the three discriminations have done so by developing and cultivating the seven awakening factors. All the ascetics and Brahmins in the future who will give up the three discriminations will do so by developing and cultivating the seven awakening factors. All the ascetics and Brahmins in the present who are giving up the three discriminations do so by developing and cultivating the seven awakening factors. What seven? The awakening factors of mindfulness, investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity. All the ascetics and Brahmins in the past, future, and present who give up the three discriminations do so by developing and cultivating the seven awakening factors. SN.46.42 A Wheel Turning Monarch Mendicants, when a wheel turning monarch appears seven treasures appear. What seven? The wheel, the elephant, the horse, the jewel, the woman, the treasurer, and the counselor. When a wheel turning monarch appears these seven treasures appear. When a realized one, a perfected one, a fully awakened Buddha appears the seven treasures of the awakening factors appear. What seven? The treasures of the awakening factors of mindfulness, investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity. When a realized one, a perfected one, a fully awakened Buddha appears these seven treasures of the awakening factors appear. SN.46.43 About Mara Mendicants, I will teach you a path for crushing Mara's army. Listen. And what is that path? It is the seven awakening factors. What seven? The awakening factors of mindfulness, investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity. This is the path for crushing Mara's army. SN.46.44 Witless Then a mendicant went up to the Buddha, and asked him, Sir, they speak of a witless idiot. How is a witless idiot defined? Mendicant, they're called a witless idiot because they haven't developed and cultivated the seven awakening factors. What seven? The awakening factors of mindfulness, investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity. They're called a witless idiot because they haven't developed and cultivated these seven awakening factors. SN.46.45 Wise Sir they speak of a person who is wise, no idiot. How is a person who is wise, no idiot defined? Mendicant, they're called wise, no idiot because they've developed and cultivated the seven awakening factors. What seven? The awakening factors of mindfulness. Investigation of Principles, Energy, Rapture, Tranquility, Immersion, and Equanimity. They're called wise, no idiot. Because they've developed and cultivated these seven awakening factors. SN.46.46 Poor Sir, they speak of someone who is poor. How is a poor person defined? Mendicant, they're called poor because they haven't developed and cultivated the seven awakening factors. What seven? The awakening factors of mindfulness, investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity. They're called poor because they haven't developed and cultivated these seven awakening factors. SN.46.47 Prosperous Sir, they speak of someone who is prosperous. How is a prosperous person defined? Mendicant they're called prosperous because they've developed and cultivated the seven awakening factors. What seven? The awakening factors of mindfulness, investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity. They're called prosperous because they've developed and cultivated these seven awakening factors. SN.46.48 The Sun Mendicants the dawn is the forerunner and precursor of the sunrise. In the same way, for a mendicant good friendship is the forerunner and precursor of the arising of the seven awakening factors. A mendicant with good friends can expect to develop and cultivate the seven awakening factors. And how does a mendicant with good friends develop and cultivate the seven awakening factors? It's when a mendicant develops the awakening factors of mindfulness, 
investigation of principles, energy, rapture, tranquility, immersion, and equanimity, which rely on seclusion, fading away, and cessation, and ripen as letting go. That's how a mendicant with good friends develops and cultivates the seven awakening factors. SN.46.49 Interior Taking into account interior factors, mendicants, I do not see a single one that gives rise to the seven awakening factors like proper attention. SN.46.50 Exterior Taking into account exterior factors, mendicants, I do not see a single one that gives rise to the seven awakening factors like good friendship. YouTube Video Buddhist Sutras https www